Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Michael at RBM Crypto. Today's short video, I'll be showing you how to safely store your Polygon, your Matic, on your Tracer hardware wallet using the Ethereum network. Now, as I just said, the only way that we can currently store our Polygon, our Matic, on our Tracer hardware wallet is using the Ethereum network. Um, so, you know, as of now, they don't have any direct support for the Polygon blockchain. Um, so the only way to safely store your Polygon on a device, a hardware wallet, especially the Tracer Model T is to use the Ethereum network. So that's what we're going to be using today. Um, so to do this, we're going to do is we're going to be on our Tracer desktop suite. We're going to have our hardware wallet, our Tracer Model T unlocked. And then we're going to go on over to our account section. And then we're going to see our Ethereum address number one here. And you're going to see I have one token I already highlighted. So I can just click on this. If you don't have that, you can just click on Ethereum and it'll bring you to the overview page. You can just hit tokens and it'll bring you to the same area that I'm currently in right now. So what we need to do now before we can receive any Polygon or any Matic to our wallet is we need to add the contract address. So I'm gonna head on over to Etherscan, which is where I'm gonna find that, and I'm gonna copy that address, and I'm gonna show you how to input it here in your Ethereum wallet. So I'm just gonna alt tab on over to etherscan.io, and I'm gonna put this information down in the description box below the video, that way you can follow along. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the search box here and type in Matic, and then you'll see the Matic token here from Polygon. And then what we're gonna do is go to the contract address here and then hit copy address. And then we can head back on over to our token section, hit the triple dots here, hit add token, paste the token address in and then hit add token. And now you'll see the Matic token pop up here. And now we can copy our Ethereum address and start withdrawing some Matic tokens to our Tracer hardware wallet using the Ethereum network. So at this point, all we need to do now is go to receive and then hit show full address. And then on your device, it's gonna ask you to confirm that this is indeed the address that you see on your Tracer Model T screen. If it is, you'll hit the green check mark. Once you hit the green check mark, you'll see copy address pop up. You'll just hit copy address. And then now we can head on over to an exchange and withdraw some Matic to our Tracer Model T. So let's do that. So I'm gonna just alt tab on over to the Mandela exchange where I currently have some Matic sitting in my wallet and I'm going to withdraw this. So at this moment in time, this is where you're gonna make sure that you're not on the Polygon network. You're gonna be on the Ethereum network. As you can see that the transaction fees are much higher using this network. I think they're around four to $5. Um, obviously this is because Ethereum's fees are higher than using Polygon. But unfortunately, we don't have support yet for that on the Tracer Model T. So we're just gonna choose Ethereum and then we're gonna paste in our receiving address, the amount that we wanna transact with, and then we will hit submit and we will submit for our withdrawal. And there we go, we've successfully withdrawn our Matic to our withdrawal address. And now we can head back on over to Tracer Desktop Suite and wait for our Polygon to arrive in our hardware wallet. All right, so now we're back on our Tracer Desktop Suite and we're in our Ethereum wallet and we're under the token section. And now you can see where we've just recently added our contract address for Matic. Our Matic has arrived in our wallet. So now if I wanted to, I can just unplug my Tracer device and I can safely store it offline. And my Matic is safely stored on there in my custody uh, under my control. And it doesn't move unless I want it to. So that's how to receive Matic from an exchange or from another address using the Ethereum network. Once again, make sure you're using the Ethereum network for this tutorial and not the Polygon network. If you do, you'll obviously have issues with withdrawing. It'll say incorrect address. So make sure, once again, for when you're storing your Polygon Matic on a Tracer Model T, you need to use the Ethereum network. So now that we've received our tokens, let's do the opposite. Let's send them back to an exchange or to another wallet address. So at this point, we're gonna choose to hit send. And now we need an address to send our Matic to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to Mandela Exchange. I'm gonna copy down my deposit address and then we're gonna send some Matic back to the exchange. I'm just gonna alt tap back on over to Mandela Exchange. I'm currently in a deposit section here and I'm gonna make sure I'm on the right network, which I am on Ethereum ERC20. And now I just need to copy my address and we can head back on over to Tracer Desktop Suite. And now we can paste in our address we want to deposit to. And if it comes up as not valid, just hit convert to check some address. It'll change some of the lettering and you're good to go. Now we need to just switch from Ethereum to Matic, hit send max, and then it'll show the amount. And now I can just hit, uh, I can choose the fees I want for this transaction. I'll just hit normal. And then I'm gonna hit review and send. And now it's gonna ask me to confirm my transaction on my Tracer device. So once the 
a device and the screen here are showing the exact same address, which they should be, but always just double check to be sure. Once you can confirm this, hit the green check mark. Once you hit the green check mark, it's going to ask you to confirm the transaction and you will hit hold to confirm. Once you hit hold to confirm, it's going to ask you to send the transaction on your screen and you will just hit send. And just like that, you've now sent your 45.82 Matic from your Tracer Model T, your hardware wallet, back to a centralized exchange, which is a, a hot wallet uh, outside of your control. And you can see here it's now pending on the transaction and it will be sent to that wallet. And that's it for this tutorial. I've shown you how to access your Polygon Matic contract address through the Ethereum network so you can receive your Matic from the exchange to safely store offline. And then I've also shown you how to send those Polygon Matic coins, tokens back to a centralized exchange or to another wallet address. If you're enjoying the content you're seeing, once again, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you all in the next video. Take care.